Jakob Pertl, seven games now. He's been back in a Raptors uniform. 27 minutes tonight, 14 points, 74% from the field. Nine rebounds, two and a half assists, two steals, two blocks. God damn. And tonight they beat the Chicago Bulls 104 to 98. Pascal Siakam at 20 points. Gary Trent at 19. All right. And yeah, Vooch had 23 points. But the thing is, is that Jakob Pertl is, you know, playing great for the also the lineup of Scotty Barnes, Trent Jr., Preston Chua, Thad Young, and Chris and Chris Boucher was not the lineup I expected to close the game, but it did and it like worked. And Will Barton checked into the game midway through the second quarter and he performed just as he expected to some as someone who had like signed to a team a few hours earlier. He played four minute four minutes, missed his only field goal and finished minus four. But the Raptors' stellar defense is something that's happening. Like OG getting didn't you know is literally such a good defender with Pirtle behind him. It's like a racer meets a racer. It's like one of those like full racers you used to have. They had more offensive rebounds, more steals. Like they were just everything, and it felt like you know. My man, Nick Nurse, finally has some players. Pascal Siakam, since Jakob Pertl has came, like, the team is better with Siakam on the court, and they score more points, they're more efficient. But with Pertl here, they don't have to be as over-reliant on Siakam. And Siakam, now, with Pertl, he has, eased, he, like, eased the offensive burden. Pertl's, like, arsenal on offense isn't that much, but, you know, the post-game, he's refined, and he's shooting, like, 74, 75% from at the rim, and he's, an effect, like, a really efficient offensive player in the paint and a skilled offensive rebounder, fourth most per game in the NBA. And I think that's something that has helped the scoring efficiency for pa Pascal has gone up, and even Pertl's passing ability has set Siakam to get, you know, backdoor plays to the basket. Now, Scotty Barnes is another guy you would think, like, the floor spacing for Vision 6-9 is, you know, would be negative for the, someone like Scotty Barnes, but it's actually allowed Scotty to play more aggressive. In the contrary, it's offensively, it's been amazing. Also, this has allowed also Barnes to thrive as an off-ball defender along the perimeter, wrecking havoc, knowing that Pirtle's back there to know that if he gets blown by at the point of attack, that Pirtle can clean up the mess at his end. And offensively, you know, we've seen Scotty Barnes get more aggressive attacking the basket, finishing the contact, and he's playing really well. And then Prestige Achua, you know, his passing, Jakob Pertl is literally getting Achua open all over the floor. And I think that's just something that can't go over overstated his impact already that we're seeing from Jakob Pertl. And I think that's something that people aren't realizing is super super crucial for this team and i don't know man i, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below what, what do you guys think of yaka Pertle so far for this team i know like some people might not think it's anything insane but i really think it's a, a performance like tonight against the bulls that it's more impactful than people would imagine and I'm not saying he's saving their season but this is a team that's now actually looking like a playoff squad and before I don't think we could have said that. So for me, I think that's the biggest thing is when you look at this, this is a team that's starting to look and play the part that, you know, that they haven't looked all season. Now, for anybody who was hoping for a, a you know, a high draft pick, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I was kind of in the high draft pick club. I was like, this is the last year you could probably get away with tanking. So do it. But I don't, I don't think they that's what they want to do which is fine i was just saying like if you wanted to tank one last year and get away with it this was the year but they decided not to do that which is fine which is fine and that alarm just scared the fuck out of me now that's basically going to be it for me guys I hope you guys did enjoy today's video like comment subscribe do all that good jazz i'm gonna head out and leave you guys but if there was anything else you guys would have wanted to hear, let me know. That's basically the video. I mean, was there anything else? No. So have a good one, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good jazz. I'm a peace out. Talk to you guys later. And yeah, so goodbye.